about to come up Why you at the party, I be working to the sun up, yeah I just wanna live my life and give you everything that I can give What is up guys, it's your boy OG Teddy and today I'm bringing you a story time on the time I sold coke. Now before you guys even think about it, nah guys, it actually really was not coke. I sold soda. And it all started around my sophomore junior year of high school. I kind of looked like Steve Urkel, a nerd. And it's kind of how I got known to a certain point. Basically how it worked out was I went to Walmart, right? And there's a special deal. You buy 20 sodas, you get you get it for $5, right? And you cannot beat that deal. So that's 20 sodas. So if I sell them per dollar, that's a $15 profit I'm making. And huh, I was making a lot of money, but I got caught. And basically what happened was, I mean, I sold them in math class, sold them in English class, I sold them in gym class. Any class you know, I sold them. I was a hustler out there. I was the the soda weed man of the high school. Niggas sold weed, niggas sold coke, niggas sold pills. I sold soda. It got to the point where teachers were even buying my soda, guys. I remember we were going to my math class, and we're just gonna give him, we're just gonna give my teacher name, um, Miss Mr. Hernandez. It's not really his name, but. If you were in my math class, you know. Mr. Hernandez. And I started selling sodas. I carried around like this little laptop cooler thing and kept your sodas cool. And basically, I sold them per dollar. I, I had varieties though. So like, if you guys didn't like Coke, don't worry guys, I got you a Sprite. If you didn't like Sprite, I had you a Sierra Mist. If you didn't like Sierra Mist, I had you a Mountain Dew. I had Root I, I was a variety person. I had it all. And I, it was just making a lot. It was making a lot, a lot of money because people... To be honest, people really wanted soda. And all they sold in school were diet. But way before that, they weren't even selling soda. They sold them fruit juices and waters. They needed soda. They wanted their caffeine. The teachers even wanted their sodas. Hell, people were spending $2 at times because they know it would get sold out. Lunchtime was the best time. That was the best time for business. I was hopping between lunches because how my school was set up was there's two lunch tables. And they're in different rooms. It kind of diverts in a way the seniors to like the the young class, and I was nobody at this time. I didn't I didn't know anybody. I started I started learning this is how I kind of became and I got to know people like open up my circle. I was called by Ao Soda Man. I'm like hey, hey, hey I liked it. It had a nice ring to it. it. Really did. So I started selling sodas in the gym class, the lunch room. Sold it to the football players, the basketball players, the cheerleaders, whoever needs soda, I sold it. I wasn't discriminating anyone. I wasn't excluding anyone. If you want soda and you wanted something, I got you. I'm your man. I sold that bitch. Sure they were a dollar. I mean, it was cheap. You, you couldn't beat it. You couldn't beat it. And niggas try to start, they try to competitive with me. Niggas start selling snacks. But in reality, everyone wanted soda. Because you're always getting quenched in lunch. So, I started, I was selling soda for the ground two to three months, right? They finally caught on me. I remember, I was in English class, and me and this teacher not get, get along, because she was a straight bitch. I mean, by bitch, I mean bitch. She wanted to do shit. She got, she wouldn't even let me sell soda. I think she, she won the snitch, but I was selling them the hallway. They were coming to my lockers, everything like that. But we're in English class. We're reading a book. I think it was... Eh. It's, uh, I can't think of the name of the book, but it's with, um, the one guy's slow, and, uh, of Mice and Men, I think, is that one, like, he shoots him in the head, because he has to stop on ruckus, and he raped the one girl, yeah, it's about Mice and Men, I'm pretty sure, but of Mice and Men, we're reading it, and all he hears on the loudspeaker, they didn't, they didn't have the dignity to call the phone of the, the room, they called me on the loudspeaker, <clears throat> Christian Teasley, please report to the office, I'm like, oh, fuck, what did I do this time, I'm always getting called down to the office, and you know all the class, and you know how kids be like, they all look at you, I'm like, what? what, what what's the problem? They're like, ooh, ooh, sound like a fucking motor, so I go, so the boy got caught, that's your ass, boy. Oh my gosh, so I walk down to the ISS room. 
Christian. I'm like, ha, huh, Mr. Stan. You know why you're down here, right? And I'm like, I have a virgin idea of why I'm down here. Hit me with it. You're selling soda. I got to the lesson where at first I didn't think it was soda because someone literally snitched on you and said you're selling coke. And I was like, yeah, I'm selling coke. I'm selling coke, Mr. Stan. Coca-Cola. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started to tag along on that when I started watching you sell the drinks. You know you can't do this, right? I'm like, what can't I do? Like, what's illegal about this? Then he went on to like just fucking put out the goddamn handbook, dude. Dude, bitch, on the table. I'm like, oh my god, what, 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 what? He's like, see that? It says you can't sell something without the proper, proper license. I'm like, you need a license to sell soda. You don't need a license to sell chocolate. It's going to a fundraiser. Maybe the soda's going to a fundraiser. Help, help Christian's pockets. Succeed to a better dream. You need to stop. You need to stop selling soda. And I'm gonna have to suspend you for a day. It's not gonna stop. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. But your partner, Mr. Foresight, Mr. Stan, bought from me before. He looks at me. He's like, I know. I know. We like it, but you can't do it. I'm like, what's so bad about it? You just can't do it. Now, I'm not gonna call your parents, but you have to go. I'm like, so, I remember. Walk my happy ass home from my school to my house. That was a deep ass walk because I live a couple towns over in a way. Walk there, walk back. Mom, like, why are you there and so home? I'm like, we had a half day. Simple as that. We had a half day. So the moral of this story is, guys, don't sell things you're not supposed to. Life, life lesson, or you might end up like Teddy. Sure, you were making bank around a hundred dollars. $75 a week, not really bank, but at the time for a sophomore and junior where you could barely even work at this age, I was like 15 to 16, you, you make a decent amount of money, and it was doing nothing, literally, just going to your class like you're supposed to, getting your education like you're supposed to, on the side before classes start, or when the class is about to end, you said you sold a little entrepreneur business, but yeah guys, that was the story time on I Sold Coke, sorry guys I didn't post a video yesterday because I was at the beach, but it was a pretty fun time. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's either going to be a story time or a tip on Overwatch or a glitch on Overwatch. It's been real. Your boy OG Teddy is out. And you guys have an OG day. Peace. She could tell you what this deck day. You could tell she got a deck day. Back on the top. She love it when we go out. Look at me dead in the eye. Put it back in her mouth. That's what I'm talking about. I just be dogging her out. I can't have another wifey.